everyone, Zori Mori here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have for you an unboxing haul. I'm gonna show you everything I got in the last two weeks. I shopped sales. I also started my gift shopping. I want to show you what I got because I think the items really deserve your attention. You might have seen a few of these pieces on my Facebook page. If you're not part of it, I'm going to include the link in the description box below. On there daily, I share sale alerts, discount codes, restock alerts, and new collection gossip. I hope you join me on there. I'm also going to include links to my Instagram pages. I have two one dedicated to travel and one to personal style. If you're active on the platform, please stop by and say hi. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I would love to see you around more. Now let's get into today's video. I don't know about you, but for me, one of the biggest challenges around the holiday season is finding gifts that are size independent, that are special, which is why I wanted to show you two things I got from Pamela Card. It is a small woman-run jewelry company based in Canada. If you're looking to shop small businesses this holiday season, you should definitely stop by their website. You can get a necklace, like how gorgeous is this piece? One of the things I love about it is you can actually clip it in three different places. So you can wear it more as a choker, as a medium length or as a long pendant. And a lot of their necklaces actually have the option on the website. You can adjust the length so it fits your body the right way. Alternatively, you can go with earrings. These are gorgeous. They look massive, but they're actually really lightweight. For the men in your life, you can always go with a chunky knit. It's a really cozy gift. This sweater I got for Henry last year from October Editions, and I just noticed it is restocked. It runs through to size. Henry wears medium from most US brands, and this is a medium as well. Bonus, it is very, very soft. And this October edition sweater is part of the new collection. I got it for Henry for Christmas. I went with size large because I was looking at the model photos and I noticed that the model is wearing size medium. He looked more slender than Henry, so I decided to size up and I can't wait to give it to him. It is a little bit itchy though. If you're looking for size independent gifts for men, October Editions has fantastic wallets. This is a wallet I got for Henry earlier this year. Honestly, I would use this wallet myself. Or you can go for one of their collaboration watches. The design is again, really, really beautiful. I was looking for stocking stuffers from Cezanne. I got this wallet from the San Francisco store. It's the same croc leather as the cloth bag. The closure is also the same that you get on the cloth and the Milo bags. It's a really nice small to medium size wallet that will make a great stocking stuffer. And another size independent gift I got from the Cezanne San Francisco store is this pair of earrings. I feel like the design is really versatile. It will go really well with many different outfits. I got this pouch. If you go to the store, you can pick from all the different colored pouches that they have. This year, like the previous year, Cezanne and October have gift sets of a scarf and a beanie. Really easy, perfect winter gift. Last year, I got Henry a mustard color set and he's been wearing it on repeat. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this coat I got from the mango sale. It's still in stock in many sizes. I went with size extra small. I love it. I love the color. I love how cozy it is and it looks great with jeans, but also with dresses. Also from mango, I got these low heel shoes in burgundy color. They're very comfortable. The leather is soft. It doesn't require any break in. There is paddock inside good everyday walking shoes. Another small brand that I love had a fantastic Black Friday sale, Sue Sarter. They are based in the South. Their dresses are so well made with a lot of attention to detail. Oftentimes when you get a block print dress, you get a single layer cotton, but their dresses are lined. They're now sold in anthropology and I think they're gonna do great things. I already have 
a different colorway of this dress. I have the khaki and brown and I've worn it a ton. I've gotten so many compliments. I wanted to get the blue and burgundy, but I couldn't decide if I want to stick to the midi length or if I should get a mini. I have to just keep one. So <laughs> vote in the comments below on which one you think I should keep. Many of the sales that I shopped this week are no longer online, but I'm sure that many of these brands will run other promotions between now and the new year. So I wanted to bring all of these items to your attention. This is another small brand, slow fashion linen pieces. They're based in Europe. They're called Sans de Fleur. They have a slight cottage core vibe, a lot of solid colors, pockets. They arrive very beautifully packaged and often in the pocket there will be like a little scroll with a motivational quote and they are also a woman-run company. American Vintage had a huge sale. They brought designs from previous years and offered free shipping. My order has not arrived yet but I wanted to remind you that their knits are really fun colors. The texture is usually soft. They will make great gifts. Last week, Lily Silk sent me a few pieces. I don't know if you watched that video, but I wanted to once again show you the midi 100% merino wool skirt because it's absolutely scrumptious. I feel like if this was on the Cezanne website, it would have been sold out weeks ago. It also comes in black. It's just such a wardrobe staple for winter. There are a few pieces that are still in transit, but I want to bring them to your attention before they sell out. First, the Bowden boots that I got. I'm really excited for this dark chocolate color, the suede texture. I feel like the heel is perfect height for walking. And I'm actually really excited about the narrow calf design because my calves are pretty narrow. I'll keep you posted on these. And yes, I did go a little bit crazy on the shoes. I also got these Larode platforms. They're called the Miso platform. The texture of the fabric really sold me. They just look like so much fun. I can't wait to style them. A reminder, if you are looking for a Mary Jane flat in a fun color. Francis Valentine has great options, square toe design, require no break-in, and the sizes are going really fast. Madewell had a fantastic sale. I actually missed a few of the items that were on my wish list, but I managed to get this jacket. It actually comes in two colors. They both look really good. I especially love the fabric, the texture, the color. Can't wait to get it. And last but not least, I wanted to find a mini pleated knit skirt because I love my midi knit pleated skirt so much. It's a very, very hard task. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find a 100% merino wool like the skirt I got from Lily Silk. But I settled and I got these two from Lulu's. They are synthetic, unfortunately, but they have the design that I want. I got one in burgundy and one in dark gray, which are colors that I think I can wear quite a bit within my closet and the color palette that I already have for winter. All right, everyone, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of today's haul, which pieces are your favorite? Did you start your holiday shopping? I want to know. Don't forget to join me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description box below. If you enjoyed watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.